catch up on all the live shows right here on africatechradio.com. Welcome to Cruise Control with me, Daniel, on Africa Tech Radio. And today is a beautiful day to talk about social media, technology, and some of its effect on our daily lives. The iPhone 15 series is set to be coming out at the end of September and the verdict is still out if the new USB-C port will be a hit or miss. Personally, as an iPhone user, it will be very nice to be able to borrow other people's chargers, right? But trust Apple in usual fashion to find a way around all this. So the coming iPhone 15 and 15 Plus will come with a USB 2 which can be considered somewhat archaic for these times as it offers data transfer speed of only about 40 megabits per second. So if you're a video person, you're a picture person, and you're using your iPhone for large transfers or large images, then this is not the phone for you. Well, the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max comes with the USB 3, which is the standard connector, and can transfer up to 10 gigabits per second. It's great that Apple is finally adopting the USB-C connectors for their coming phones, but I beg, the gap between the standard and pro iPhone models is frustrating. Haba. Personally, I don't think I'm going to be joining the League of USB-C iPhone users anytime soon because have you heard those prices? Still speaking about iPhones, right? Apple will update its iPhone 12 in France after fears of radiation. So the sales of iPhone 12 was altered in France after a regulator detected too much electromagnetic radiation and Apple was told to fix the issue. When they told Apple to fix the issue, Apple suggested that the radiation findings were as a result of the testing regime and it was not a safety concern. Well, the new update will only apply to users in France as a specific testing protocol is already in place and the new update will be tested first to check if it complied to the complaints before it's allowed back on sale in the country. Belgium, the Netherlands and Germany are also now looking into the issue after France raised concerns. But when all these things happen and I see people suing or people having complaints and stuff like that, it just makes me wonder, like, where is Nigeria? Nigeria, don't we have any complaints? Are we not looking into these issues or do we have, like, other issues that are bothering us? Is that what is wrong? TikTok fined 345 million euros over children data privacy. So Irish regulators are concerned about how TikTok handled children's data in 2020, especially around the age verification and privacy settings. So they were fined 345 million euros, which is about 296 million pounds. And it is the biggest fine that this social media firm has received to date. A spokesperson from TikTok said they respectfully disagree with the decision, particularly with the level of the fine imposed. The person also said that the criticism was focused on features and settings that were in place in 2020 and have since been changed before the investigation even began. And this includes setting all under 16 accounts on private by default. Ireland's Data Protection Commission, however, found that TikTok was not being transparent enough with children about its privacy settings and this raised concerns about how their data was processed. It's also found that accounts made by those 13 to 17 were made public by on default during registration and it means that their content can be viewed by anyone. This is somewhat similar to the complaint and the fine that UK had for even allowing only 13 people to open accounts in the first place. But with these complaints, you know, restrictions, fines, bans slammed on TikTok from left, right and center, wouldn't it be good a good time for them to sit down, review their operations and make it a safer space for all? Or will their quest for being inclusive allow them to lose access in most countries of the world? WhatsApp to launch WhatsApp channels. So Mark Zuckerberg recently announced through his meta channel on Instagram that there will be a global launch for WhatsApp channels and it includes several enhancements. Some users may be able to create a channel for now, but the features will be brought to people and everyone in coming months. I'm sure you're wondering what these channels entail. Well, it's similar to Instagram where organizations and celebrities send updates to users directly. Now, imagine this, but on WhatsApp. Personally, I'm really curious to see how this one plays out. Nigeria has recently lost one of the finest baritone voices in the music industry and quite early at that. R.I.P. Mubad, may your light continue to shine. 
In the wake of his death, many videos of harassment have surfaced on social media and it's indeed sad to see what he had to go through. But we also know that the court of law is no respecter of emotions and we wonder if social media evidences are admissible in court and if a strong case of harassment can be made and perpetrators brought to book in his absence. In the coming days, we'll be having an expert come in to discuss this and more. Also, don't forget to join the conversation on all our social media platforms and stay tuned. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to catch up on all the live shows right here on africatechradio.com.